بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک ڈیٹیکٹ آؤٹ لائرس اینڈ اینامیز وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن آئیڈینٹیفائی پیٹرنس اینڈ ٹرینڈس ایز پارٹ آف آر اینالیسز ان دا ویژولس دیر کوڈ بی سرٹن ڈیٹا پوائنٹس دیٹ ایکٹ ایز آؤٹ لائرس اینڈ اینامیز so what are outliers and anomalies so if you have certain data in your data set there could be certain points that are not according to a certain pattern or which have some unusual value so these points can be classified as outliers and anomalies so we have certain tools inside of power bi or certain visuals where we can showcase the anomalies and also we can we have certain techniques where we can detect the outlier so let's go to the power bi environment and see how we can showcase the anomalies as well as the outliers so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and i have currently a line chart that has date on the x axis and total cost on the y axis so anomalies are normally associated with daily data or data where you have a lot of points and normally you showcase this kind of a data in a line chart because there here we have this uh, this option to showcase the anomaly so if i select this line chart here is part of the formatting option so we have already looked a few of the formatting options already so right below the area where we discuss the reference lines error bars and forecast we have an option at the very end which says find anomalies so in order to just explore this i need to first turn this on and as soon as i turn this on you are going to see that there are certain points that appear on the line chart so there are points that you see and just by having a look and or just by observing this that normally these points are the points which are which which are above a certain threshold so there is a certain threshold that you see but there is more to it not just the threshold but there are certain other things that we need to actually look so these points which are shown here all these points they refer to as the anomalies so now let's see what are the certain settings associated with these so in this area the anomalies area i find these three areas where i have certain options so let's see these options so the first option is the options so we have an option that explore that says the sensitivity we can set the sensitivity then we have an explain by field i'm going to come on this in a bit then the other is associated with the anomaly so this is actually the anomaly which is shown here so i can choose the color which which actually uh, shows this anomaly or i can also pick my marker that shows the anomaly so this is the point that you that we have already seen on the chart then the third part is the expected range so here it says that you have an expected range and there is a color associated with it and there is a transparency associated with this so let me just reduce this transparency a bit so as soon as i reduce this transparency you are going to see that there are certain black shaded areas that you see for that you see on the on the line chart and if i just come here and put my mouse on one of the data points so here it says that the total cost value which is the actual value shown in blue is 680 the expected value is 729 the expected miss minimum value is 408 and the expected maximum value is 1050 so based upon the capabilities that are there inside this uh, power bi for for analyzing a visual we get certain values here that that are shown here but now let's go and find what is there in the anomaly so if i if i come here on the anomaly here you see that the expected value is 2495 and the total cost is 3349 so there is a there is a huge gap and you see that because of this huge gap this point has been shown as an anomaly so this is how an anomaly looks like but now the actual thing would become clear once i click on this anomaly so if i just come here and click on this dot you are going to see that a new area 
has opened up which has the anomalies so here if i come there is a description that is associated so here it says that the total cost was expect unexpectedly high on 22nd september 1998 and it had a total value of 3395 which is above the expected range of this and then it is also showing certain possible explanation and it's saying that we do not have a significant uh, ex explanation for this point so let me just click on another point and let's see what is the response so i am seeing that for the points i am seeing the anomalies but there is no explanation that is being given so let's go back let me just close this and let me just go back into that area and let me add something which i saw here which is the explain by field so here i can actually put a categorical value that explain the reason that explains the reason for this anomaly so let me just put some something here so let me just put pull in my sales region and then i click on this apply and then i come back again and i click here on the anomaly and here again it is trying to say that okay we do not have any possible explanation so but for us for a certain point like this point like with the point that i highlighted here now i am seeing something which is a possible explanation which is given here now let's see what is this possible explanation and this is the ai capability that i was talking about so this is the possible explanation and here it is saying that the total cost for sales region mexico south was unusually high for this particular date and that is why this point has this point here is an anomaly so here it is saying that based on the data the information that we have this is this point is showing a very high value because this particular sales region had the total cost high for this for this particular date it is unexpected it is different from the trend so that is why this this part has been highlighted and this is how you can actually have an explanation so you can always add more fields here in the explain by so if you want to add more fields the analysis is going to be more elaborate and then you have the sensitivity so you can obviously increase the sensitivity and then the results are going to be different and obviously the sh the shaded portion that if that is that that is uh, uh, explained here that we saw for the forecasting the same kind of an effect you can actually see here that as you increase the sensitivity then the the this shaded portion is also going to change so this is the feature which is available for the line chart and this uses the ai capability so you should be familiar with this particular feature now the other feature is the outlier so let's go to the scatter plot because outliers can only be visualized in a scatter plot and then we talk about the outliers in that particular visualization so now let's have a look at the outliers so outliers signify the same thing at the anomalies in the data but we focus the outliers only for the scatter plot so here i have i have generated a scatter plot where i have total quantity on the x axis and total cost on the y axis and then there is a distribution by product brand so here you can see that all the product brands have been mapped out on the scatter plot so let's say i have a, a certain condition in my data where i just want that okay the top 3 product brands which are actually shown here and have a total quantity value greater than 20000 and a total cost value greater than 20000 so let me just assume that these are my outliers so if you, you can see that visually it is very easy to come on the scatter plot and just highlight these three see these three product brands and if i just have a look on my tooltip i can easily see that the hamanos telltale and the tri-state these are my three product brands which could be based upon my assumption an outlier in my data so this is the beauty of the scatter plot that you can see that okay if some value is is off from the rest of the values then you can say that okay these are the outliers and this could be anything and any number of values based upon the condition that you are working or the assumption that you are working on similarly we can develop an outlier detection logic using dax as well 
so we can just focus on the three points and we can develop a logic based on the values of total quantity and total cost and then we can visualize these three points on the uh, on the scatter plot so now let's go and see what kind of a dax logic can be generated in order to achieve this so this is a formula or a measure that has been developed that actually explains this logic so the logic is that instead of the total cost we want to just focus on the outliers and we want to use calculate and use and calculate the total cost for only the brands which actually satisfy the condition so what is that condition so that that condition is this one where the total cost is greater than 2000 and total quantity is also greater than 2000 so we are only interested in counting the brand so what is happening inside this count rows so we are only interested in counting the rows where the total cost is greater than 20000 or total quantity is greater than 20000 and if this condition is true then we actually go and filter the product brands and then we compute the total cost for those brands so this would only have the cost coming from the total brands that actually satisfy this condition so now let's see how we can visualize this on the canvas so on the canvas the three points that are of interest are these three points so if i just hover my mouse here so i see that the value of total cost here is 23,492 here it is 21,635 and for this point here it is 20,000 so roughly it is close to 65 thousand uh, because 20,000 20,000 20,000 is 60,000 and then it's a very small values so it should be close to 65 66,000 so let's see how we can check out the value of the total cost generated by these three product brands so here I have pulled in the value of the outliers measure or outliers measure on the card visual and here you can see that the value is 65k so this is the contribution of the total cost coming from the outliers which I just showed explained to you in the outliers measure and if I have to actually go and see this in the scatter plot I can also do that all I need to do is that I just need to replace this total cost with the outliers measure so let's now do that so here I have created another scatter plot here and the only difference here is that instead of the total cost I have put in the outliers on the y-axis and here you can see that the three dots are visible here and these three dots represents the outlier so i if i just go into the settings and change the uh, the the x-axis um, range so i just need to put a value of 20000 here and <clears throat> now you can see that these three points are are visible on the canvas very clearly so here this, these are the three points that you can see so this is how you can use uh, the scatter plot to have a good idea about the outliers also the dax pattern that we saw is also very helpful uh, in order to generate this kind of a mechanism where you want to actually go and see what is the contribution based on the outliers or you just want to figure out what is what are the outliers so you can use dax and you can use the scatter plot as well so that's all for this particular video and i'll catch up with you in the next one